Good morning, followers. So I just finished grooming Mr. Sirius doing his weekly touch up. We did his paws, we did his little eye corners, and did his nails. And so I'm a little hairy, but it is what it is. I just wanted to pop in and give you a four week update on my conch punch. And again, it's a two gauge and six millimeters. Um, it's fine. It's great. It's been going so much easier than when I had it done with a 12 gauge needle. 12 gauge is two millimeters. And at the time, the piercer was even, wow, that's huge. We always do these at like 16 and 16 is 1.2 millimeter. So that was interesting too. But because I went with the punch this time and removed the tissue as opposed to just pushing it aside, my piercing has room to heal. When I had it done at a 12 gauge, I had to downsize to the 14 in order to give it some space for my fistula, the piercing hole, to actually be able to heal and generate some healthy tissue. That was around, I want to say six months. I originally had the 12 gauge done with a hoop, which is a no-no, I'm aware. However, I thought I could handle it, you know? I didn't end up getting piercing bumps, but it was just getting knocked that much more because it's outside the ear as opposed to just as post being through the ear. And so I had a ton of jewelry at home that's a piercing enthusiast and put in one of my 14 gauge librette posts that have been from my librette piercing. It fit it perfectly. And then within the next six months, it healed fairly well, but it took a full two years to stop oozing completely. Whereas my flat punch over here, we are at just over six months. It is July 10th and I had it done December 30th. So it's just over six months and no ooze. Like you've got your regular ear gunkies that'll happen on any earring just because oils build up and stuff like that, but no gunkies whatsoever. And that's, that's amazing. My body doesn't usually heal cartilage piercings in six months. My dates, for example, 16 gauge needle, same piercer. He did a great job, but they are still gunky. Um, I'll make a whole different video about that, but this is punch video <laughs> and so we are a month out I'm cleaning my conch punch twice or once a day rather at this point and minimal gunkiness of course is still healing so there is some ooze but I have tissue all the way through uh, when I take it out you can see that and I will insert some pictures here for you to witness the glory I guess <laughs> It just fascinates me how much better a piercing can heal when the tissue is removed as opposed to just shoved aside. And so the difference between a piercing gun that blunt force trauma through and then a needle which cuts through and a punch which actually removes tissue, it's been a learning curve and I don't think I would go back to having any cartilage piercings unless it was done with a biopsy punch at this time at this point. I've said this to my friends as well like it doesn't hurt anymore if anything it hurts less it's a sharper instrument going through quickly it removes the tissue rather than shoving it aside and it heals so much faster so much cleaner so your regular old flat piercing 16 gauge go with a punch your regular old tragus piercing if you can get, find a piercer to do it go with a punch i am super <laughs> pro punch at this point I see these? Yes. Yes. And your pro kisses. Yes. Well, I will wrap up this part and insert some images, maybe a video of the Q-tip going through, because um, that's always exciting. And see you next time.